Hey guys and welcome to my video. So today video is about Blade and Soul in general because this video is talking about the game in general. Is it worth to play it or not? So that's a question for sure. I want an answer for it or you want the answer for it. So on this video, I will begin to talk about a lot of things. So I will talk about good things on the game, what you have in this game, what is bad things on this game, if you should play it or not. And I will give you my personal opinion as I played this game for more than five years. So for sure, I know almost everything about this game and actually the future about this game or what will happen. So anyway, don't forget to subscribe, like the video and let's begin this. So first point about this game. So this game is on, on Unreal Engine 4 before it was Unreal Engine 3. So if you like to sense for sure the graphic is good, especially after I made it for a new graphic card. So I can see a lot of good details for sure. Away from FBS is actually lower than what it should be like normally something like this or in any other game maybe sense can go for 100 frame or anything closer but here actually frames is not that good but still if you have a good for sure graphic card or anything from the 10 series to above you will have no problem as my older one was 1050 ti so actually i was playing with this on unreal engine 3 and 4 and i was having no problems so unreal engine 4 came and made the game a lot better on quality and things like this so can't underestimate this graphic for sure to have low fps but actually maybe it's a bit lower than what we can expect so going for the root points or what we have on this game first so we have on this game some dungeons so for sure dungeons you go for it so you can get some items or you can gain something for sure to upgrade your items or whatever so going for dungeons is for a lot of roles like going for materials dungeons or getting some accessories or whatever some legendaries some mystical items or anything like this so that's a good part or important part from this game like most of mmo games other thing for sure is you have solo dungeons that you can go alone and you can finish it alone no one can help you on this and you can go for this also you have raids so raids joined for 12 men dungeons normally six men or was six men and now four men so you can go as a four and for raids you can go for 12 men to finish them so there is some weeklies and some big raids and things like this that's almost all for pvp or sorry for the pve category away from there are some bosses on the streets and things like this for sure you have a great story so it have a good story actually you can finish it maybe on six days not big thing if you are playing for 10 hours something on this average so it's a good story it's maybe better than most of games or most of MMO games especially because mostly they have a bad story this one is better than before or better than the others so it's kind of good to do this for the character so actually you have four type of races for characters and you have 14 class at the moment so there is a lot of things having the blade having some send to use punch and uh, playing kung fu or anything like this having some mages some types of mages for sure it's a bit different like warlock or force master or anything like this for sure you can check the overview video about all of this you can check the races and for sure every character in the game if you are interested for sure for sure for the outfits here it's kind of something good for sure as you can go for anything on this game it's not like you have to play because i'm playing with blade master as example so i have to go for something like some armors or anything like this but i can play with anything as you can see i have no problem if i have just the outfit i can go for it so that's something good on this game i like it for sure because you can do whatever you want you can go for anything you want you can change even the hairstyle you can change your eye or anything like this if you have glasses or anything so even you can custom your outfits so i can say this one of the best mmos on this category especially on the outfits so you can if you like this for sure you have to try it also there is something and that's pvp actually pvp on this game normally was one of the best on mmo games actually they ruined this a bit but still it's great if you can play it 
maybe it's dead a bit or i can say dead a lot so it's hard to find someone to play but maybe the game in future will begin to fix the sins and i will talk about this later anyway but pvp you have 1v1 you have 3 versus 3 tags so you can go and fight one on one and you can tag at any time and someone else come or someone else can come to help you so sins can go like this and also there is 6 versus 6 and this one is not equalized pvp for one on one and the three versus three is actually equalized so whatever the character level in front of you you are the same as him as you are reached level 60 nothing more than this and both of you will be the same if you don't reach level 60 you will be the same on hp and everything but maybe you don't have some skills you should have normally if you have level 60 away from this you have nothing between both of you but for the 6 vs 6 it's a battleground this one is about gears so as you go for better gears for pvp especially so you can do more damage and you can do more kills okay for the best things or the good things about this game so actually i like the movement especially on this game i feel like i am so free i can fly i can run i can jump so you can feel yourself like a superman on this game and actually the movement is so good dungeons is so fast fighting on dungeons you can go here and here pvp actually is super fast also so the movement in general is so good and that's something maybe i didn't find on some other mmos when i tried so because of this actually i quit them maybe in the first one hour to try these games for sure also the pvp the equalization pvp 1v1 especially and the tags because both of them is good so you can play and just learn everything you can learn your combos and learn and doing everything and you can win for sure as you are good and if not you will lose and that's something normal but for battleground for sure it's also good and i like the battleground also but the problem for sure is about the gears so you can find someone can give you one hit it can happen for sure and you can find someone you can give him one hit and also it can happen if you have a good gears so i don't like this because it's not equalized and also because you can gain something and actually don't deserve it as an example i am better than you and skill level and i'm good player on pvp especially on 1v1 and you are better than me by, by years and actually can't do anything against me but you just get one hit on me and actually killed me so that's something bad for sure maybe not always it will be one hit can be three hits can be a long time to kill each other but what that's what is happening for sure also the point i told about for sure the story story is good it will take a long time for you it have a good parts it have a good scenes on a lot of parts especially on fights on how things is going and sometimes you don't do the ground and have your friends dead and a lot of things and you begin to take your revenge more and it going well so actually i like the story for this for sure as i mentioned cosmetics is super great in this game you have so much outfits as you can see 1594 at the moment as i am talking so actually if you don't own some you will try you can buy some you can get a lot of good things like this so for sure the game have a lot of things and actually they have so good details if you can look the details are so good on the outfits especially so i like this game especially for this outfit and now let's talk about the bad things so if i will say bad things so i will say first thing for sure the game is taking a long time so you can gear up as example i wanted to reach something higher like i wanted to get what is after this range as example so to do this i have to play a lot until i can get one item and get from this item 20 and that's something not easy so maybe i can go for the dungeon or the same dungeon i want or the dungeon the time drops this item maybe at least for three four times or five times just to get one not to get 20 so that will make me maybe play this dungeon 100 time or something higher than this so i can get this item so that's something bad for sure for your time especially dungeon will take maybe 10 minutes 20 minutes something like this average in this range almost so that will take a long time for you to do things for sure story first will take a long time for you especially if you are not or you can't say you don't know the way so you will have to go a bit lost a bit 
and something like this also about it here there is some items it's hard to get on the game so actually it can make the game don't for pay to win more so it can get this item as example if i go for f10 this one is a market for using the money so as example if i will say i need something like this item and this item if i will buy it with gold i will take a lot but actually i can use this in a coin with money and for sure i can get it sometimes for sure there is a lot of better things can come here and you can do it the good part if you can buy cosmetic with this it's okay if you will use your money to buy some cosmetics who cares it's something just for you so no one will blame you for anything but actually there is some events like this one as example is pay to win so you buy some coins and actually you can go for trying a lot of things like here so as example you wanted to reach this one you will gamble until you can find it maybe you can't maybe you can so for sure you will lose a lot of money maybe in real money and actually maybe you will get nothing and that's the, one of the problems for sure in this game and i hate this part in the game as this game is free to play so a lot of players for sure will play the game without paying anything but actually that can happen to you like what happened to me like i am playing this game for five years so normally when someone joins the game today or playing the game new for whatever one even one hour on here normally he can't surpass my items because i am doing well i'm doing everything i know whatever i have to do but for him he don't know this but if he can pay a lot on the right way or in the right direction on this game so maybe he can surpass me in just no time and that's the point i hate on this game for sure for the pay to win part if this one is fixed maybe a lot of problems for this game will fix it also with this also maybe i mentioned this before the fps as you can see standing here should give me more fps so actually i was playing call of duty from some time call of duty have for sure higher graphics than blade and soul for sure blade and soul have a lot of high animation and that's something for sure i can say but on call of duty you have so so much buildings you have so much details and a lot of things like this but actually fps can go higher for this also because games like this can support something like dlss or rtx for this graphic cards and blade and soul don't have anything from this so you tend to go for this port so your fps will be a bit lower or maybe a lot lower than normal games on unreal engine 4 so that's a bit bad part for the ms actually ms was so bad especially on unreal engine 3 now it's a bit better on unreal engine 4 so now i have 60 60 for me is something good and compared to other games so maybe other games can go for 60 maybe can go for 70 maybe can go for 80 here also when you fight it your ms begin to increase can reach 90 and things like this so i can say this one is bad or not but i can say for the fps part it's for sure i can say it's good especially with a good graphic card also one of the most parts i hate in this game is bugs you have a lot of bugs and it happen a lot on dungeons on a character on whatever anything like this and you have the bug and actually they don't fit the bird so fast like i as example if i was playing or i was playing the dota 2 as example so it happened a bird made a bit problem i don't remember what is this but actually what happened update on the same day maybe after one hour or two hour and fits it this bird why they do this for sure they do not make any big problem in the game for this but for blood and soul you find the bird it can go for one week it can go for one month it can go for one year it happened it's okay no problem i'm not sure if people is reporting this or not and for sure i expect a lot reporting this but still they don't do anything about it and there's a lot of birds from this and there's a lot i can say i saw them even on unreal engine 3 and 4 no different after they don't this and they are still there okay and for the last point on this the most biggest thing i hate on this game is the company itself why i hate the company because they don't do anything that we say as example we told them a lot do these things on pvp yeah, there is a unbalanced things on pvp and unbalanced things on this or on this or some bugs happened on the game or some problems happened or some hacking even happened to the game and things begin to grow and they didn't fix anything and that's a big problem for sure also there is something i hate on this company like as example we are on server europe so actually server korea is the first one they are doing things before us like three months or maybe higher 
So if they made any fits to the server or in Korea or anything and they went for this problem or fits in this problem or it didn't even seem the percent of the problem and they made a new problem there we will get the problem after three months so normally if you made a problem on Korea as example and you saw this one made a big problem for you so you will not make it on Europe or something like this will go for three months so normally Korea will be something like a test server on this points I made a mistake here I will not make it there but what happened they made the mistake here and there so actually what happened a lot of players for sure will quit this game because of this problems and I for sure I know a lot of players quit because of some stupid things like this also there is unbalance on the characters on sometimes especially every character have a three specialization not all of them have the three specialization normally they have two but most of them now have like 10 of them at least have the third specialization so actually it's unbalanced like if I'm playing with this one, I'm doing so much damage. If I'm playing with this one, I'm doing low damage. If I'm playing with this one, I'm doing super low damage. Sometimes they change this and you find one of them is doing higher than the others, but actually there is no balance. Like if I want to play with the three of them, I will not play of, of this one as example because I feel my DPS is doing super low. So that can make a big disadvantage for characters like mine because of this as i am tanking the normally bosses and i'm doing lower damage because of this and actually if i will do more lower damage it will make a problem for me so things can go out of control for me and for my party and things can go so bad anyway for the last part is this game is deserving to play it or not for sure that's something about you so if i will say for myself i play the game i enjoy the dungeons i'm playing pvp I actually used to play so much dungeons and can go for 100 run or maybe more or 300, 400, whatever. I didn't use this and actually I'm going well and going on getting my items away from I feel some items don't deserve the gold I actually pay for this away from I am playing for this game free to play very free to play i can say maybe i'm the most one free to play in this game because i didn't pay even one cent on this game so actually with this i am in a good point on my gears and i have no problem with most of things for outfits i like outfits so much for the movement i like it so much so maybe i can say this things i can't find on any other mmos maybe there is some have but actually i will not try anything like this because i like this game anyway and i will not play two MMOs anyway. Also for the stories like what I said, it's great but for sure after you play it once maybe you will not play it twice so you will try to move forward and try to make things faster so whatever it's good or bad it will make no difference for sure. For the experience in the game for sure it's a lot of good it can give you a lot of experience and movement and on life maybe because of trading and the things so I like the sparse also on this game if i will talk in about the bad things if i can look away from this like the company didn't do the things okay but i will deal with it so we'll have no problem and you will play if you can't deal with this don't play the game from now and i'm telling you this better to not play it if you feel you will feel bad about the pay to win part like i am doing all of my power to do things and someone pay for some gold to get some items so actually surpass me if you will get upset about this don't play this game also and maybe don't play any, MM, uh, any MMOs in general okay so about PvP so actually PvP if you are playing this game for PvP so PvP is dead at the moment so if things will grow better in the future and they said they will make some fixes and they will make some problems fixed and actually because of this or maybe because of the dead for pvp so others made server for the good days from like two years or three days years on this game the best days on the pvp and they made server to play there and they began to do most of the problems in this game they fixed there and everything as well and everything is good so if you will play this game for pvp for sure don't play it at this moment because pvp like what i said it's dead these days if you go to find the match you will take a long time normally you was pressing the lfp so you will find the game on maybe five seconds one minute at max 
things like this now maybe you can find for 10 minutes and you find nothing and that's something for sure is bad so think about this well you are the only one who can take the decision to play this game or not i just give you all the inform information or all the important information and for you if you will play it or not that's something about you and for sure if you will play you have a lot of videos for on my channel so you can share them and they will guide you and i will make soon guide for new players if you will not play it that's something good also because you will relax from a lot of problems for sure to play this game and that's it for this video so if you like it for sure don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video if you don't like it don't press this like or if you want to press it i will not stopping you but to put this point on your mind if you press the slide you will dislike my video you will not dislike the game if you hate it so that's two other points from each other so it's about you anyway i expect i will make another video about the game but i will say the problems on this game and actually how to fix it i have some points on my mind and actually talked with a lot of players on this game so actually they told me with the problems they felt and a lot of the sense so i will talk about it on another video and how they should fix it and for sure they will have to make it with their way for nc soft for sure so until this day thank you for watching guys see ya in the next video bye bye